Right guys, here we are up at uh, Hybrid Tune. Um, if you know these guys, are from the A140 between, sort of on the way from Ipswich up to, Nor um, up to Norwich, up just past High Airfield. There they are, got a pretty good place. And the Honda NSX outside, don't see many of them, do you? That's pretty cool. Um, and you also see them in their race cars. Racing the um, Minis JCW, well, the ones that support touring cars. Um, so we're here with the F82. Going to see if we can get a bit more horsepower today. I'm also going to see if they can. We're not going to go for like silly figures. Just going to see if we can get but a bit smoother. Because like I was saying yesterday, it's got that big kick of torque which just lights it up. And if we can smooth that out a bit, get a few more horses, then we can look at getting some weight out of it. We're going. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, might have opened the door the right way around. So we're in. Oh look, do you think do you think someone's a racing driver by any chance? Yeah. You might recognise this fellow here, not because he's a supermodel, but you might see him on TV. Yeah, I'll give over, mate. Be yeah. Being interviewed, winning races, national races no less. I've given him the benefit of my half season race and alphas, you know, so pretty much I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> so how are you doing today, Sam? You alright? Good mate, thank you. Yes, got another BMW for us. Yes, I have. Um, I've been telling both the people watching this video yeah, that um, yeah, we were on track with it yesterday, a lot of torque, causes a lot of wheel spin, makes the car actually quite difficult to drive. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're hoping, I'm hoping, a yeah. man of your skills, yeah, yeah. we can maybe smooth that out a bit, get some more power, but make it maybe a little bit more drivable. Yeah, that's it, yeah, try and make it a bit more linear for you, so it's not making so much torque in the mid-range. Yeah. And just, just sort of calm it down a bit and try and make it a bit more a bit more progressive, so you can kind of lean on it a bit more and know exactly what power it's going to give you. Sounds good. Um, and then if we can stick it on scales as well, wait, see just how fat it is. It's called Chunk, yeah. that car, so yeah. the name is Chunk. Yeah. Um, see what it weighs now, and then you're quite happy to help us as we go along, where, yeah. get it corner weight to get it set up at some point. Do they weigh standard in the interior? They're six, they're, they claim 1580, 1590, something like that, but I saw Auto yeah. Car Wave on, it was 1620, something like that. Probably like 1580 dry then, or something like that. Something like that, yeah. yeah. And you know the manufacturers are like, they weigh them in their yeah. wheels and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, if we can, so we'll crack on with that and I'll uh, check in with you guys later on, let you know. Ah, the other interesting thing is I think it's lower power, don't I? So we'll, we'll do the base run and see actually what power it's making in the first place. Car's in there on the dyno now. I'm not sure if he's actually anything yet or not, but it seems to be making a lot of power. So perhaps I got it totally wrong and it's already being mapped. I'm sure I just saw 500 plus on the first one. I'm not going to be done. Yeah, that does appear to be saying 530 at the engine. 429. At the wheels. Hmm. Oh. That's good, I suppose. Well, maybe I'll sell it hybrid. Um, yeah. Turns <laughs> out, what do I know? Someone's obviously been in there, mapped the thing already, and it's making 5.30 on break. <laughs> it does, the torque drops off at 6,000, when I was kept whinging yesterday about it feeling a bit breathless, but yes, it's actually boosting harder from 6,000. So whether on circuit it's doing something different, or whether I'm just, I don't know, getting greedy for horsepower maybe in my old age, but yeah, the thing is definitely powerful and fast. I mean, it was fast on the straights yesterday. We didn't have much trouble passing stuff. As you, if you watched the video from the track day yesterday, it was, um, yeah, it, it, was, it was going all right. really have thunk that through that takes quite a lot of horsepower to make miles per hour um, but yeah 
I'm not disappointed, but it's got the big lump of torque, but we're gonna leave it, because I'm also thinking those ADO8s aren't the grippiest things. It was cold and wet yesterday. We'll try it as it is, you know, uh, sort of leave it as it is for now, and then next spring, summer, when it warms up and we'll get some slicks on it or something, once we've got coilovers on it, because actually that torque, if you can get the grip, that torque out the corner is gonna fire onto the straight, so a good old lick, so. Yeah, we've had a good old chat about it and that's what we decided we're doing. Sam's going to get it off the dyno now and we're going to get it weighed. So we'll leave the engine alone from here for the moment and um, get it weighed, see where we're starting on the old chunk weight. I've just got to let you have another little look at that NSX. Lovely, don't know. Thank you.